So today on the program, I'm with three ladies from the Discover the Palm Beaches organization in Florida. So hope you're doing well. We have with us today, Ali Fernandez, Heather Andrews, and Ashley Svarney. And uh, as folks watch this, they don't know who I'm talking about. So let's just go around and introduce yourself and tell us what you do. Let's start with you, Heather. Hi, Jeff. Uh, thanks for having us today. I'm Heather Andrews. I'm the AVP of Content and Community Engagement at Discover the Palm Beaches. Nice to meet you. And then we have Allie. Hi, this is Ali Fernandez. I'm the Associate Vice President of Destination Services and Trade Show Activities for Discover the Palm Beaches. And last but not least, we have Ashley. Hi there. So I'm Ashley Savarni. I'm the Senior Director of Public Relations and Social Media for Discover the Palm Beaches. So thank you all for your introductions. Uh, better than me trying to read them off and, and uh, share with uh, folks watching who you are. Now you're with the Discover the Palm Beaches organization obviously a very busy organization and maybe things are different right now than in the past. So Heather, did you want to tell us about that? Sure, Jeff. Thanks. Uh, Discover the Palm Beaches is the official tourism marketing corporation for Palm Beach County. So we're a contracted agency to the county delivering the services of tourism marketing for our destination. We have over 200 hotels, over 2,000 dining facilities, and over 200 cultural institutions in our destination. And we're really charged with bringing visitors to our destination and getting our message out to the consumer, uh, the travel play and uh, travel trade and meeting planners. Wow, that's a lot of uh, activity going on in your world for sure. Well, today we wanna to talk about the GBAC Star Accreditation for Facilities, which congratulations, your organization has gone through and maybe a little different for you compared to others, which are just one facility. But tell us this, what was it that drew you to the GBAC Star program uh, and, and prompted you to get the accreditation? Well, the GBAC Star was really important to us in the recovery of our destination. So going through the pandemic as we have and tourism being hit as hard as it was, for us to attract back meeting planners and consumers to our destination, it was going to be important to go through steps to ensure that consumers felt comfortable when they came to the destination. So with Allie and her team on the groups and meeting side, we were introduced to ISSA and the new GBAC Star accreditation, and we knew it was something we wanted to pursue with our convention center, our airport, as well as our hotels and our destination. So we worked with them on um, an a contract where we were able to provide those services to the hotels in our destination, as well as ensuring the convention center um, was going to get the accreditation as, long, as well as the airport. Mm -hmm. And Ashley, anything to add to that? Yeah, I would say uh, in speaking to the general traveler who's thinking about dipping their toes in some type of vacation or staycation, we wanna make sure that we have every proof point to show that we are taking this virus seriously as a community and that uh, we're taking the actions necessary to keep our community safe, the employees safe of all the tours and businesses, and especially the visitors who are coming in and wanting to venture about the destination and the Palm Beaches. Very good. So when we think about um, the aspect of getting this accreditation with 20 elements. Is there anything that, that you came across during the process that you struggled with or was most challenging? I think for us, the biggest challenge that we've had is communicating to all of our hoteliers to get them to participate. Since for us, the way that our contract um, is aligned with um, ISSA, we are providing for the first year this accreditation complementary to the destination. So for for the destination hotels. For us, it was extremely important. So Allie and her team have had to do a lot of the legwork of going out to the hotels, explaining what the GBAC star accreditation is and trying to gain all of these uh, individual hotels to come on and do the application process. Well, Allie, let's, let's get to you. What was that like? I mean, herding cats or what? <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. So um, it's a great selling tool. So we started off with uh, all the directors of sales at our partner hotels. Uh, mm -hmm. Once we got them on board, we moved on to the general managers. So we've been able to uh, secure 
40 plus hotels into the program right now. Um, they're signed up. And so now step two is we are making sure that all those that signed up to get accredited actually get accredited. So again, we're moving through that process, talking to everyone, because everyone, the hotels we're dealing with, most of them already have cleaning protocols in place. It's just a matter of it's a complement. This GBAC accreditation will complement their cleaning protocols. So it's just making sure that they put it all together into the templates and the and in the packaging that GBAC needs to get them accredited. So now we're doing some webinars on best practices to help those hotels if they have any questions or if they've had any hiccups in the process. We we have a. Uh, the convention center GM who, as we said, the convention center has already been accredited. Uh, he's going to come on and help the other hotels that are in the middle of the process or starting the process or wherever they are, get them, help them get across the finish line and get that GVAC star for them. So part of the success with your organization is the networking, communication. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right. So was there anything in, in the process of course, it's ongoing for you, obviously, but does anything stand out as this was easy? No problem. I think once we talked to the directors, the, the idea was to get to the directors of sales. A lot of hotels are operating at a lower capacity as far as staffing is concerned. In some cases, the GM is doing seven or eight different jobs. So as long as we got the chance to speak to them and explain it to them, that was the, once we got to them, it was easy. Mm -hmm. Once you explain the GBOX certification, the 100 years experience, the 105 countries, you know, third party independent certification, all of that, that, that sold the program. It was just a matter of getting a hold of these team members within the hotels to make sure that they understood what it was and get them signed up. Mm -hmm. So thinking about others who might ask you, should we do the GBAC star accreditation program? What would you tell them? Maybe Ashley would, will go to you to start. I would say, I think this is a great opportunity. Uh, I would strongly advise anyone to move forward with this process if they have the opportunity to do so. Having something that is accredited, something that is official, the only one of its kind, uh, to have these standards in place is something that I think is important to uh, the businesses, the, the travelers. And I really think that in terms of groups and events specifically, the GVAC Star Accreditation Program really seems to be uh, well understood amongst meeting planners and those within the meetings industry. And for those who are looking to bring business, business events back, which I know a lot of folks are, um, having this accreditation is just another proof point to say why they should have uh, trust in the organizations and the facilities who are going to be hosting uh, these groups of people. All right, thank you. And Heather, how about you, anything to add? Uh, we've had a lot of other destinations reach out to us asking us if this is something that we should pursue or how we've been working through this. And we have um, emphatically endorsed this and told them that they should pursue this. Um, something that's really great for us is we are the first in Florida to be pursuing this for our destination. So we've been very excited to have some of our hotels, our convention center and the airport now officially accredited. Um, so they're going out now and marketing it um, and using that GBAC star and that, as we like to say, the good housekeeping seal of approval for them. And it really does, like Ashley said, give that third party validation that it's not just the practices that the hotels um, in those facilities already have in place those protocols. This complements that and really provides that validation that we feel uh, will help us long term in our recovery. So we would recommend it to everyone as you move in that recovery. That's what the consumer is going to look for, whether it is a travel agent, a meeting planner, a meeting or a convention to attendee, or just someone on a family vacation, they're going to want to know that they're safe in a destination and what better way. Yes, they will want to know that. And Allie, anything to add? I would just say like today, it's again, great selling tool. Today we had a meeting with a client and the minute we mentioned 
the G Box Star accredit accreditation for their hotel. They were like, send us that information. PBI, our, our airport, send us that information. So uh, it's a great selling tool and it's working. It's working. That's why we're doing it. We want to be safe. We want to get the word out there. It's third party validation and um, it, it works. Mm -hmm. Well, the name of your organization, Discover the Palm Beaches, is very appropriate for what you do. So keep up the good work, and we appreciate your time today.